Hey folks, here we are again, another minnow versus jig contest. Every year I do this exact same thing and we want to see how it, well, let's, we want to see how it turns out. I got my buddy Marcus, we're in the boat, we're going to put jigs versus minnows together. We're going to see what happens this year, 2020's version, get ready to rumble, it's on. Hey, I got my buddy Marcus in the boat, putting big fish in the boat. Let me tell you what we're doing today. So we're gonna do a minnows versus jig. We're just now starting the spawn. We're gonna see if there's a difference. Um, gonna have fun with it. I'm fishing with the minnow. Marcus is fishing with a yellow and white jig. Both about three and a half foot down. One to zero. In that corner. Another good fish. The sun has come out. It's going to be a beautiful day. And it is two to zero minnows. Oh, you haven't landed it yet. Yeah, that's true, I haven't landed it yet. Okay. Fishing with a rosy red. Rosy red. If you don't know what that is, it's a red minnow. <laughs> kind of like a toughy. I think it's a part of the toughy family. Electric chicken. Oh, that's a beaut. And that's how you do it, baby. Two to one. That is a hog. Pretty impressed. <laughs> that's a big fish. thought I would speed it up during these couple, next couple fish because Marcus goes on a run. He actually puts three fish in the row, three casts in a row, and uh, it's pretty impressive what happens here. I don't know if there's a pocket that just happened to seem to like jigs, I'm not sure. But regardless, he goes on a massive roll here and actually ends up taking the lead. So, hey, thanks for joining me. We're going to have a great episode here. Please subscribe and let's just get this, you know, let's get this fight on. Is it jigs or minnows? Vote now. What do you think is going to win this episode? Five to three. Found a little sweet spot here. Marcus is going to have dinner for a while. Definitely outside, right? And we're casting up against the weed edge. All of a sudden there's this hot pocket about 15 feet off side the outside the weed edge. That's what it is. One fish here, one fish there. And all of a sudden you get about four, five, five, six. Just need to get to the big ones. So on this day, and most days during the spawn on my home lake, we fish the weed edge. I had those arrows there to show you what the weed edge was. We simply cast it with a slip float, let it fall, and then we can let it sit there and kind of gently pull it back. Great day in the water, jigs versus minnows. People ask me where I get my minnows at a lot. I get them at the Crappie Pro Shop located in Carterville, Illinois. Good selection of minnows. Give them a shout. I'll put the number here on the screen. When you come into town, they'll get there early for you. Great place to get your minnows. Five to four. 
true. And did you see me set the hook? Yeah, I just want the, I just want the bag. I know, I know, I know, but the bag is open, so there's a lot of them outside of the bag. Okay. Can you just really Yeah, just give me the bag. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Holy crap. Five, five. So our technique during this episode is basically just casting up to any type of structure or along the weed edge. And we are both fishing under a float. So just a slow retrieval back. And definitely a, clearly, and a clear advantage of the minnow is that I can do a slip float, I can throw it right on the weed edge, and I can let, just let it sit there, whereas Marcus really feels like he needs to start bringing it back right away. And the minnows take the lead again, 6-5. Nah, too small. There's no doubt I've got the advantage being the lead. But, you know, I try to go backwards sometimes. So Marcus, this isn't a right or wrong. Experiment during the spawn. And we've proven so far it doesn't matter. Seven to five. Let me show you my setup here. High vis line always, so I can watch it and see it. I love it. Uh, I use the Kamel Slip Float. It has two. It's I think a lot of people comment or call these cigar floats. I use two beads. So bobber stopper. I put a bead. The float itself, another bead, then a number seven split shot, and then a number two hook. So that's my setup. That's my float setup. I always cast with a number, a, a, a 10 foot Ozark. Um, 10 foot, we don't mess around with eights, nines, nothing like that. It's a, this, this pole right here can do it all. Everything from sniping fish to vertical jigging to flipping to casting. I truly believe in a 10 foot Ozark rod can do it all. There it goes again. Boom. Eight to five. Gotta get it in the boat though. Eight to five. Uh -oh. Oh, that's oh, there it goes. There it is. Ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. <laughs> Nine to five. Look at that tuxedo, folks. That's beautiful. Beautiful fish right there. Wow. There it goes. Watch this. Ten five. Ooh, this is a keeper. Got around there? Oh. You need help with that fish? <laughs> Hit five. Hey, folks, don't forget about guide trips this spring. And I'll tell you right now, um, brush pile fishing after the spawn is at its most spectacular moment. These fish are hungry, they're chomping on anything, and uh, it just doesn't get any better. So. Book now, 3poundfishing at gmail.com, or you can call me at 618-694-5162. You good to go? I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, never mind. Not giving in. 10 to 5. Yep, we're recording. Ten to six. Yes, sir. Ten to seven, catching up. 
Beautiful fish. my best fish of today. This is a good fish. gonna go up to 12 to 7. That feels like a good one. Good fighter. Pretty fish. Well folks, I'm gonna call it a Called even. <laughs> Window, Windows did win 12 to 7. But at the end of the day, the fact that Jigs got 7, wouldn't you agree? That's pretty impressive. I didn't expect that. Yeah, we, it, uh, I mean, I have advantage too of being up at the uh, trolley motor. I have live scope. I mean, uh, so at the end of the day, I'm gonna call it a dead heap. So get out there and fish. That's the important thing. Jigs, minnows, it doesn't matter during the spawn. They're going to bite. And that's what's so great about the spawn. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks, Marcus, for fishing. Thank you. Mm. Three pounds. <laughs> thanks for watching another three-pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.